Getty Images After almost three years of mystery and a release date push, American movie theater owners got an exclusive first look at Bradley Cooper's directorial debut, another remake of the love and fame drama, A Star Is Born. And, oh my god, he really may have pulled this off. Cooper debuted a full trailer with original songs, Lady Gaga's soaring voice and what looks to be legit and bittersweet chemistry between himself and the Golden Globe winning actress. Cooper plays a salty dog country singer who seems to be suffering from hearing issues and self-medicating with a bottle, who stumbles on young Gaga in a cabaret. It doesn't take long for the pair to shack up and hit he road, where Gaga inevitably takes the stage. She sings for maybe 20 seconds in the trailer, but it was a breathtaking moment of artistry and a presentation from Warner Brothers. In with superhero showdowns and dark, low-budget horror. Cooper told the Las Vegas Auditorium that Gaga insisted he'd do his own singing as her co-star, if she indeed to take on her first big movie role. You're going to become a musician, and you're going to make me as comfortable as I can be on film. Cooper recalled Gaga saying, Star is Born shot a portion of its performance sequences at last year's Coachella Valley Music Festival, where Gaga was a pinch-hitting headliner after Beyoncé announced she was pregnant. They also shot at the California-based Country Fest Stagecoach and the UK's renowned Glastonbury Festival. The film co-stars Sam Elliott, comedian Dave Chappelle and Andrew Dice Clay. Drake and French Montana The two rappers hung out in the VIP bleachers at the Levi's and Don Julio Neon Carnival on Saturday night. They were joined by a lot of big names, like Getty Images Getty Images Alessandra Ambrosio, who took a ride down the multi-story slide Getty Images, Dot and Diddy This is an impressive turnout for a remote private airport tarmac in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. Getty Images Cole Whittle and Joe Jonas of DNC with Nick Jonas Two of the three brothers Jonas arrived to Neon Carnival together. British female DJ Caper had the dance floor packed even hours after the bars stopped serving alcohol. Superstar DJ Alessa was in the booth observing Getty Images Katy Perry before she would host her own Easter Sunday brunch and Easter egg hunt with her shoe line, the Chain to the Rhythm singer popped up at the Bootsy Bellows estate where Chevrolet threw a party for their all-electric full dev. Chevrolet Coachella 2017 Saturday was another sun-soaked and perfect day on the fields. Getty Images Enter the Gaga Lady Gaga began her headlining set with a curious two-and-a-half-minute, non-vocal, hard-style electronic riff of images that included both her face and Coachella, blasted on the screens. Getty Images She Rocked Through, Born This Way, and an amped-up version of Just Dance. After the Super Bowl and now Coachella in the same three months, I'm not sure what she has to do next to win the 2017 Triple Crown of Music. Getty Images may be this. Gaga's Saturday night performance broke Coachella's 10-year drought of not having a solo female headliner. Getty Images Lauren Hill What? The reclusive former Fuji was a total shock appearance during DJ Snake's sub-headlining set on the outdoor stage. Getty Images She sang, Killing Me Softly, and Ready or Not. Getty Images DJ Snake The French producer is enjoying the fruits of a massive 2016 with choice festival slots this year. Last month, he was the closing headliner at Ultra in Miami, closing that festival with a fireworks show over Biscayne Bay. Getty Images Drake and Future After they teamed up on 2015 mixtape What a Time to Be Alive, Future invited his pal from Toronto to join him on the main stage, Getty Images for Drake, it was time to wipe the slate clean on the same stage where he admits, he took an L, a loss, for his headlining performance in 2015, Getty Images The Weekend The Weekend is another coach L. L. who made a surprise return to the Empire Polo Fields. He joined fellow Canadian Nav Set. Getty Images earlier in the day, The Weeknd and Selena Gomez were spotted walking across the fields with hulking security guards in front of and behind them. Getty Images Tycho for the second time in three years, Tycho packed in a huge crowd for their ambient and mellow hour around sunset. Getty Images Beethoven The Heineken House continues to be the most exclusive and intimate of all the music venues on the grounds. Here, Atlanta producer Beethoven played on Saturday. The line outside stretched around the white building in the center of the fields. It is worth the wait. BFA agency Heineken House This shows the intimacy of the Heineken House. Besides the line outside, there are no lines to get to the taps. George Clinton's Parliament Funkadelic played a full two-hour set for a crowd this size. BFA agency Heineken House Botneck, Epic DJ The Chicago Kid, and the underappreciated Chucky are all back at the house for Coachella Weekend 2. BFA agency John Janik and Jared Leto The Interscope CEO hung out with the actor-musician at the label's house. Leto is a Coachella regular. 
Getty Images Tyler the creator the leader of Odd Future knows when he is getting paparazzied. The monochromatic poet was snapped inside the Bootsy and Sun party. Tyler, please note that we did not snipe this photo of you. Chevrolet Tory Lanez days after being arrested in Florida, Tory Lanez performed in the Sahara tent with a minimalist set. It was just him and a DJ, and the crowd loved it just the same as Empire of the Sun's Broadway-style production in the same space hours later. Getty Images Joe Jonas and Giorgio Moroder the former boy bander met the dance music legend behind Midnight Express, Scarface, on the radio, and Call Me. It was a clash of generations as the two played Republic Records and SBE's Hideaway on Saturday afternoon, Getty Images Emma Roberts the Scream Queens star also joined in the afternoon of music and backyard cocktails at the Hideaway. Getty Images Shane West and Brittany Furlan back at Neon Carnival, the guest list has grown to over 7,000. This duo represents the evolving parody between actors, I West, and self-made digital creators, Furlan. Getty Images Cameron Houston, DJ Ruckus, Brent Bolthouse, and Jesse Marco Neon Carnival founder Brent Bolthouse is also a photographer. We spotted him taking pics on what appeared to be a film camera during the night. Getty Images ZZ played the festival in 2016, bringing out Kesha at the height of her legal drama with Dr. Luke. This year, he was back but just for the parties. Getty Images g -Eazy, the day after rocking the Sahara tent with Dylan Harris for their new single, Say Less, g -Eazy hit the stage at the Dew Label Motel in Palm Springs, a celebration of the launch of the Mountain Dew Label series, new premium sodas with craft flavors and herbal and citrus bitters. The party was open to the public for fans of the Dew. Eric Reed, Envision for Dew, AP Images Chari XCX Write the I Love It, Songstress DJ, D at Pandora's Indio Invasion on Saturday afternoon. Pandora Post Malone guests at the H. Wood Group's Blind Dragon pop-up got to hear, congratulations, and White Iverson, from the rapper who has been all over the desert this weekend. Chris Studios' Rachel Zoe Zoe asses at the stylist's beauty and fashion lounge, guests could make customizable engraved cuffs. There were also massages and an acoustic set by the aces. Getty Images One last look at the neon carnival scene. The event takes four days to set up for a bash that only lasts six hours. Batiste Dry Shampoo, which people used to freshen up, Levi's, which made customized jean jackets, and Aquila Don Julio are the sponsorship partners. Getty Images Drake and French Montana The two rappers hung out in the VIP bleachers at the Levi's and Don Julio Neon Carnival on Saturday night. They were joined by a lot of big names, 